What is up XRP community? Welcome back to another video. Some bullish developments on Ripple and XRP. And also tons of stuff is going on with the SEC and Gary Gensler. So let's hop right into it. First off, guys, this is uncrypto related, but let me know your thoughts on this topic. I don't want to get political, but I think this is pretty crazy. Washington passes a bill allowing government agencies to legally take parents, their kids, if you do not consent to a gender transition we have states like florida which are banning gender transitions for minors and then we have states like washington who are banning parents from saying no clown world and the coordinated tax on cryptocurrency continue jaron melarud tweets out a target attack on bitcoin miners is taking place in europe sweden increases the ele electricity tax for data centers by six thousand percent to curb the mining industry. So they're really trying to push out Bitcoin miners. And speaking of energy, Germany's three remaining nuclear power stations will be shut down. Germany's power costs, if you live in Germany, comment below. But you guys think inflation is bad in the US? Your electricity bill in Germany has quadrupled over the past two years, and it's absolutely absurd. Now they're shutting down three remaining nuclear power plants, and here's Elon Musk's thoughts. I wanna be super clear, in my opinion, Germany should not only not shut down the nuclear power plants, it should reopen the ones that shut down. And those are the, those are the fastest ones to restart. Uh, um, it's crazy to shut down nuclear power plants. Uh, please do not shut down the nuclear power plants uh, and uh, please re reopen the ones that um, have been shut. This is total madness to shut them down. I want to be clear, total Let's... madness. I would say this is a national security risk. It's not it's a national security risk. It's total madness. If you guys need a spot to get XRP, I recommend Uphold. It's where I dollar cost average and buy my XRP and Flare every day. It's sleek, it's simple, it's secure. And there's a link to Uphold in the video description below. And I give away $10 in XRP every day on the channel. To enter the giveaway, just like the video, subscribe to the notifications on, and comment anything in the YouTube comments below. And I just want to take a moment to say thank you guys for supporting the channel. Welcome all the new subscribers. Thank you guys when you press the like button. It gives me feedback. It lets me know that the content I'm putting out is valuable and that you learned something. So thank you guys in advance for supporting so the sec is on a rogue agency intent on crushing crypto innovation in the u.s on behalf of the incumbent big banks and special interest groups talked about this last video these big banks and financial institutions will do whatever they have to do to hold back innovation until they feel like they can have a majority stake and really harness the power that blockchain and cryptocurrency provides watch your guru tweeted this out another example of the sec regulating by enforcement, the SEC charges Bitrex, crypto exchange, for violating federal security laws. And I have a lot more on the SEC here. Mr. Huber says, the U.S. knows that it will not win a fight against technology. It is fighting crypto to delay their use, like I was saying, to maintain control through the supremacy of the U.S. dollar and their correspondent banks for as long as possible and to position itself in secrecy. And John Deaton, an attorney and also an avid member of the XRP community, tweets this out. An SEC crypto exchange crackdown has begun, and the SEC is apparently taking no prisoners. Four recent events indicate that crypto exchanges, platforms, etc. will have to stop doing business in the U.S., at least in their current form. They are pushing out innovation. John Deaton says, in the Ripple case, the judge said the SEC lacks faithful allegiance to the law. In the library case, which was very similar to Ripple, the judge shamed the SEC over the lack of clarity. Keep in mind, Stuart Alderati, general counsel of Ripple, tweeted out yesterday that in the Supreme Court, the SEC has lost five out of six cases. So hopefully this case goes the distance, might take a little bit longer, but the SEC has a terrible track record with the Supreme Court. In grayscale, the court said the SEC's arguments made no sense. In Voyager, the judge blasted the SEC's ethics and behavior. So you can see a trend here. The SEC is usually not on the same side as a lot of these judges. Crypto Law US tweeted out a lot of fire. He says, now is not the time to be timid about what Gary Gensler is doing to American companies and millions of retail asset holders who have no protection against his agency's unchecked behavior. It is time for tough questions and accountability. Ex-GOP representative Todd Tehart. And Todd T. Hart follows up saying, nothing in the 80-year-old law, nor any Supreme Court decision since has given the SEC 
the authority to declare that a cryptocurrency itself is a security, no matter it, how it is in transacted. The brush was never that broad. This guy used to be a representative in the Congress, not anymore, but this is a politician. This is a regulator. This is someone who has power, or he formerly did. And he's saying, and we've said this many times before, Congress has the ability to make laws, not the SEC. And listen to this right here. Gary Gensler has recently said that Algorand is a security. Now listen to what he says. Very, very high praise for Algorand. Yet today he's saying Algorand is a security. Take a listen. Governance is tough. You could create Uber or Lyft on top of a blockchain technology today. Uh, well, maybe in five years you could. It would be, have the performance. Uh, Sylvia McCallie's Algorand, uh, who's a uh, Turing Award winner at, at MIT that I work with. Um, Sylvia's got a great technology that has a performance you could create Uber on top of it. The question is then who Algorand is a great technology that you could create Uber on top of. Really quick, guys, before I carry on, you never know what could happen to my YouTube channel. So if you do enjoy my content, Rumble's a really cool platform. It's censorship free. And I have my backup channel on Rumble. I put up all my content. There's a link to Rumble in the video description below. John Deaton goes on to say more proof. Here's Gary Gensler at MIT talking about how any potential disruptor of the legacy financial system must be prepared to give up half of their share to the incumbent in power. And what I'm going to show you after this speaks to Ripple's escrow. They have half of the XRP supply locked up. And I'm going to speculate on what they're going to do with that supply. First, take a listen to our favorite man, Gary Gensler. And by the way, just replacing one central monopolist with another central monopolist, a lot of commercial banks aren't terribly excited about that. Maybe you're going to have to give some ownership. Maybe you'll have to give 50% of your ownership to the 20 banks that are now you know, part of this. I mean, there are other ways to build incentive systems. Maybe you be, be, put a native token in there and you give, you give the, you know, them the native token. You know, so there may be other incentive ways to beat the current monopolist <laughs> And, 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 you know, but, but I, having been around commercial banks for a long time, they really are looking for ways to, um, uh, to, to replace their aggregators in their back office, whether it's clearing, settlement, exchanges, uh, credit agencies. But they are deeply understanding because they're, they're, they are pretty ambitious and very good at making money as well, they deeply understand that every idea that's pitched to them is somebody who currently is small but wants to get big and gain market power. So they're also, they're also always thinking about how to ensure that there's a check to slow down your startup from gaining market power 5, 10, and 15 years from now. They, don't they want to stop you from gaining market power and they say the legacy financial system, this is now the head of the SEC. You might need to give up half of your company, half of your holdings in order to be able to have a play at the table. And that brings me to this picture right here from Cowboy Crypto. A former Ripple executive, Dalip Rao, he says, ultimately, all of that escrowed XRP will be owned by institutions for Nostro replacement as a bridge currency or potentially for other use cases. Do you guys know what Nostro accounts are? So the way cross-border payments work now, if the U.S. wants to send Japan money, the U.S. has a bank account with some Japanese yen already just sitting in there. Japanese has a U.S. bank account with some dollars sitting in there. Since the payment takes three days, a bank doesn't want to be waiting for that payment for three days and exposed to that liability. So when Japan sends money to the U.S., the U.S. goes to their Japanese account, credits that payment right away, and then when the payment hits three days later, they put that payment they took out back into the Nostro account. It's basically just money that's locked up to mimic instant payments when the payments actually take three days. Does that make sense? And he's saying, this isn't just anyone. We've speculated on this before. What could the escrow XRP be used for? He's saying ultimately all of that XRP will be owned by institutions for Nostro replacement. And that's right after you heard Gary Gensler saying, give up half of your startup to the banks. You guys really can't make this up. Pretty crazy stuff. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. 
And guys, if you want $41 guaranteed for free sign up with Weeble Deposit, one penny, you can get up to 3,000 in free stocks. Typically, you just get 40 to 300 bucks, but it's a great offer just for signing up, depositing one penny. You're guaranteed $41 in minimum stock value. Sell your stocks, buy some more XRP, close your account, do whatever you want, but don't miss out on this great offer with Weeble. It does end soon. A link to Weeble in the video description below. Guys, comment Gary Gensler if you've made it to the end of the video. I appreciate you giving me 10 minutes of your day. And if you guys enjoy my content, definitely come check me out on Rumble. I'll try and respond to all the Gary Gensler comments in the comment section below. God bless you guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Until next time.